What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and this is our blind Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. We are on episode 11. Uh, we are in um, Peniola Ranch, and we just hatched an Eevee, and I am walking you through what happened in the last episode, not just to remind you, but also to remind myself. I'm kind of playing it over in my head. I didn't play yesterday. Uh, lots going on in the world right now, but, um, oh, I caught his eye even though I was running further away from him. This guy's like, what's that movement over there? Tracked me. He's a, he's a sneaky one, that old man, gentleman Gerald. My father's name is Gerald. He doesn't go by Gerald, though. Let's, uh, let's see what he's got. Sableye, great, let's fast forward that. So, one battle, Envy grew to level 9, and tried to learn Sand Attack, and it was like, but he can't learn more than 4 moves. So, I gotta check this out, because... How are you just gonna hatch and already have 4 moves? What kind of egg moves did they give you? Helping hand, growl, tackle, and tail. Okay, so nothing too good, guys. Don't don't get too excited here. I did. I got very excited. And I was let down. What they did is they shit all over my dreams. Uh, Brooklyn Hill, Royal Avenue. Okay, um, we're not going to Royal Avenue yet. Uh, we'll play through that a little bit later, I'm sure. You'll find Brooklyn Hill at the end of Route 5. That's where Captain Lana does her trial. <gasps> Lana! So basically, Brooklyn Hill is the danger zone, is what they're trying to tell me. Trial guides here to help out young trial goers on their island challenge. Feel like having a mysterious, learning a mysterious move. It's a fact change based on where your unit. Let's see if you can beat all the trainers in Route 5 for starts. Okay, so he's going to give me secret power if I beat all the trainers on Route 5. And my first double battle. Oh, yes. I love doubles in the playthroughs. Who did I make as my second Pokemon, though? I better not have made it Envy. Alright. Petlo and, uh... Okay, this'll be fine. This'll be fine, just fine. Uh... I mean, Lil P's not in... A great position, but I can certainly take out everything's less likely to have an attack. Probably caught me. Well, he's definitely gonna get at some point Giga Dream. Petlow is weaker than Cottony, so let's uh, let's take out Cottony. I missed Sun st Stun Spore, so that's excellent. And now we get to focus fire this icy wind against the pet roll. See how happy, how cute! Ah, nice, good take out. How cute that little pea just like smiles when he's unleashing death upon those around him. Envy getting those dings. Baby doll eyes. Obviously better than Growl, so no reason to keep that. Very good. Makes that a double loss. Yes, it did. I did defeat two tiny children who are doing nothing more than... So here's a question. How They're not 11 yet, so how did they start their Pokemon adventure? Because they're like... You know, Ash is always like, yes, I'm Ash. Now that I'm 11, I can start my adventure with Pokemon. Those kids are just like chilling out there. Living the dream, you know? Little kids with, with little Pokemon. Breeder Yuka. Morlo! Second Pokemon, Ladyba. And this is hilarious. So I, I popped one um, Icy Wind... And almost took out... Oh, Pups wants to learn a new move. Let's get rid of Sand Attack. Um, popped off an Icy Wind. Slowed the Ladybug by a lot, but didn't quite kill it. Um, it's basically dead, and it puts up a light screen. Oh, nice! Beep Beep's evolving. Into... Mer into uh, Flaffy. Um, so, popped off the Icy Wind. Ladybug's weakened. And then... 
I'm th I'm looking at my moves. I'm like, oh, it popped a light screen. What if it survived? <laughs> Obviously, it wouldn't. Mathematically, it was dead. But I thought, oh, and I slowed it. So I decided not to use Aqua Jet, and then it used Mach Punch against me. That's ridiculous. I mean, it did zero. It did as close to zero damage as you can do without being a one, aka it did two damage exactly. But I still. All right, Flappy. In the places of its body where fleece doesn't grow, its skin is rubbery and doesn't conduct electricity. Those spots are safe to touch. God, I love this evolutionary chain. Mareep is just like a cute little fluffy ball of electricity. Flappy is super cute. Probably one of the cutest looking mid-evolutions in the game. Ooh. Uh, s some awesome photos with the newly evolved Pokemon. No, I'm good for now. Yeah, just love that evolutionary chain. And I don't have any, um... Okay, I'm... That was completely random. I'm just like, why is this here? And then it happens to... So I should probably be doing this, actually. While I'm running around. But let's pop a repel. Oh, I guess this is a new zone. We can, we can allow a few battles here. But I am massively out-leveling everything, so I need to... But my point, I keep getting... I, man, I'm so scatterbrained right now. My point here is never underestimate the power of spamming the A button no matter where you go. Torment, uh, not a great move. Because when you do, you just find items. We've got Team Grunt going on here. What's up? Do when Scrots... Scrots? What is wrong with my brain right now? Doing squats really uses all your muscles. My legs are shaking so hard I can't move. I'm not doing a lowland sumo. I'm not. I'm definitely not trying to be like Kahuna Hala. Okay, what was the purpose of that? Am I not supposed to be going this way? Is that the point? Am I blocked from all directions? Oh, they wanted me to go this way. Ah, because how is here when we get to meet our friend? <laughs> Man, I lost again. I remember this guy. Uh, are you even taking this seriously? I am so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Whoa, hey Geo. This guy is plenty scary. You're Geo? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have better sense of self preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladian. Me and my partner, Type Null, are trained to get stronger. We have to get stronger. Though most of the time these days goes to working for Team Skull as their muscle. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. Bro, we just met eyes. Did you not even go through Route 1? We don't have a choice. You looked at me. That means we have to battle. That's why you might have noticed when How turned, he's like, Hey, Geo, he's like this. He like His eyes are closed, so he's like, Geo, I just had a battle, buddy. I, I love you, but I can't, I cannot do this right now. So he had to keep his eyes closed. He said, yeah. Plus he was, in, he was just in a good mood. And he's like a cat. How is like a cat? He keeps his eyes closed and he's super happy. Uh, Zubat. Uh, weakened Lil P, but I still think I can get an icy wind off. And uh, see what happens next. We're going to play this like a set mode, even though I keep forgetting to change it. This will two hit KO. Oh, you! No, no, no! None of this, Zorua. Get out of here! You, you get on out of here! No, but literally though, you're gonna get you're gonna get deaded by a, a second icy wind here. Unless I high roll, then now I low roll. He could live it. He didn't. Take that. I right, little P getting those dings. Uh, now he wants to send in Zubat. 
of which I will keep battling. Like I said, I'm gonna play the set style, so I'm not gonna switch out um, between mons. I'm actually gonna just, I think I can just tank a Zubat, honestly. I'll pop off an Icy Wind. I'll probably have to take one. No, I'm sufficiently higher level than him that he can't outspeed me. Yeah. It looks like he's just gonna get rolled. Uh, though I probably won't be able to take on... Ooh, Envy leveled up. Uh, I probably won't be able to take on Type Null. Uh, it sound, looks like he doesn't have his um, uh, Glissopod yet. Or it's pre-evolution, what is it, Wimple? Something like that. Type Null, despite the name, is actually a type. Uh, normal. <laughs> Until I do something else about this. So Type Null is not super fast, so I should be able to outspeed it. But I don't want Lil P fainting here, so I am actually going to switch out, and I think Cha can finish off this fight pretty easily. Pups could, probably could too, uh, but Cha can always heal himself to absorb the damage of the switch, uh, if I take something here. Just a tackle, standard tackle. And one break break, do I think it'll do the job? No. So this will give me the opportunity to roost off once, be at a, a better level to finish him off next turn. Um, I'm thinking long run here, guys. I got other battles, although Cha's not going to be the one. This game heals you outside of uh, Pokemon Center so often. It's probably pretty great for people doing playthroughs. This guy, every once in a while, you look at Gladian, he's like... Like, you can't, you can't keep it together. You can't. How annoying. That's what he said. Those were his words. <laughs> it's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. What? That kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling, but this brat, he's just using that as an excuse and not try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. You know my Gramps? <laughs> wait, so you think I'm strong? <laughs> look at you. Oh, wait, hold on. This is Grunt. This isn't how. Oh, look at you, little Gladian. Aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> yeah, get it. And the girl one gets to speak here. I remember because last time I did this playthrough in regular Sun and Moon, I had to come up with a, uh, a Grunt voice for her. So she's Grunt B. And I think I came up with... <laughs> Alright, let's hold on, I need to turn this one on and see if I got this one. Um I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless too, huh? No worries. We've got enough backbone to cover for you. I gotta make it a little more feminine. Give it up already. Huh? You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way in for what? For a big fat waste of our time thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen totem Pokemon from Brooklyn Hill. Let's get out of here and look. Look, or let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying and it's time we should be flying. Yo, listen up, good Gladian, the boss does like you, that's true. But you're just some hired help. We keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull, not really, and you never will be. Got it? You better get it. His sweater looks like a gaping wound, like someone sliced him with a with a dagger. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Geo and Brion too. You both gave it your all. Pew. Looks like I've got to train up my team if I'm going to hit the next trial at Brooklyn Hill next. Here, Geo, take these with you. We're going to beat this island challenge. Is it revives? Full restores. Revives. 
he he, can't, he packs hella of these things because you know this guy be dying a lot. That gladiator, he's kind of scary. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
And you. X items? Yeah. Ugh. Gross. Okay. So, we'll keep moving. Anyway. I'm sure... This might inappropriately balance ground types if you remove its weakness to ice types. But, to the same token, bug should probably be super effective against ground because they, like, crawl through that ish. You know what I mean? Like, they don't care. Yeah, I'm pretty sold on this. I'm pretty sure there should be, like, a, a trifecta, uh, just like fire, water, grass, should be bug, ice, ground. If anything, ground should be super effective against ice, not vice versa. Ice is, like, just chilling there, like, just a little block, but, like, I don't know, I imagine if an earthquake happened, that would crack that ice wide open. Uh, so we've got two flying types. Icy Wind will hit both those guys for an amount of damage they're not particularly fond of. And everything here is just going to be a, a clean, relatively, whatever. Volibee is tankier than Rufflet. It's neutral against both of them anyway, so. Because they both have a secondary type that's weak. To, that's the unfortunate thing about flying is how many of them are also part normal removing their advantage against fighting. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. There's so few pure flying Pokemon. I don't know why they're all also normal. Uh, who wants to learn Stomp? Kid? I mean, Road Tiller's garbage, right? Raises attack and special attack a grass type in a duo. It's like using work up on your teammate. No, thank you. Wing attack against Cha. Um. All right, little P, finish it off. Cha's gonna heal off that damage. Little P, shit out speed and finish off uh, enemy combatant. Dunzo. Dunzo Washington. And we exit that battle. Flawless victory. Cha wants to learn fling. Nah. I did have a pretty epic set that involved fling one time. I really liked it, but um, Envy wants to learn quick attack. Yeah, sure. It's better than tackle. Better than helping hand. Let's do that. Alrighty. So we're still making moves here. My uh, voice is starting to get hoarse. That Gladian voice and how. Those are actually both very difficult voices to do. The how voice, you gotta be like, hey, hey! And then like that's kind of like squeezing down here. But then... The deep voice is like right up here. So like it really works the whole throat. Fortunately I have some tea there. Uh, so what's going on here? Trainer tips. Escape rope and get out of there. Is this my first random battle in this zone? Have I just like casually been eking my way through? Grubbin. All right, so it's looking like it's kind of a boring zone again. It's still early in the game. They can't release too many Pokemon. Okay, moving on up. What do we got here? Stuff? Is there actually stuff? I don't think it's here. It's probably up on top of that thing. Um, what's going on over here? Have I been here? Did I hop down over here? Yeah, battled her. Okay, this is where the team skull grunts wouldn't let me in. And I wrapped around here. And this is the direction that I would have popped out. So we are now done with this area, except that is there an item inside there? Is there a nook I can explore up here? There we go. And an item. So let's get one battle. If this is something new, then great. If not, I'm just going to pop a repel to Pecky Pack. So I'm just going to pop a repel here. It's looking to be pretty similar to the to Route 4. And I'm sure there's something special. Like, every zone... I feel like always has like that one special Pokemon, but a lot of the time they're 5% or harder to actually catch. 
And I don't, I don't, I just don't want that to be the kind of playthrough that I'm doing, you know? Like, if I encounter something rare, like, I'm, I'm excited, I'm, you know, I'm shocked, maybe I'll put it on my team or something, but I don't want to, I don't want it to be the kind of game where I, I'm like constantly searching for those things. Because also that kind of defeats the fun of it, right? Like, when you encounter something rare, you're like, yes, but if you're searching for something rare, you're like, okay, like, why? You know what I mean? Uh, but we're finally doing this, uh, putting battle type on set, putting tech speed on fast, um, party box. When you catch a Pokemon, your party's full, you can choose the destination to send your Pokemon to. Yeah, of course. What am I, a, a goof? A scoundrel? Of course. <laughs> you give me a rod. No. I'll teach you some tricks. I guarantee hooking some Pokemon. I don't have a rod. Uh, what does things Unix say for two hundred, Alex? <laughs> I made a castration joke. All right, I defeated that man in earnest. That's a joke because his name is is Ernest. All right, what's up, Lana? Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklyn Hill. So, trial goer, will you be attempting my trial? Definitely. Then I will explain the trial to you. My particular trial is this: I want to. I want you to herd the Pokemon found in the pools of Brooklet Hill, driving them downstream to draw out the totem Pokemon. If I might be so blunt, they are wishy-washy. It's wishy-washy I want you to herd, but I won't expect you to swim through all the pools yourself. You, I have a lovely gift to help you. Lapras Rider Pager! If you climb atop Lapras there, you will be able to travel over bodies of water. Now. You'll be able to help drive those Pokemon downstream for me. So if you're ready, please follow me this way. I feel like she'd be really monotone, which is kind of... That's the route I went. When I, I just... Uh, you know, you look at the, the person. Her eyes are like this, just like, yes. Uh, oh, I missed what Rotom said. Something about riding Lapras, probably. Uh, oh, this area has some cool Pokemon in it, I think. Oh, but I can't catch them because it's a trial, right? So you made it. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. What was your name? Of course. Geo. It is a lovely name. Just lovely. Now then, do you see those two splashes over there? Do I ever. I'm thinking that at least one of them might contain a wishy-washy. In fact, it's likely they both might. Don't you agree? Would you like to drive them downstream with a little help from Lapras? Oh, oops, I uh, didn't mean to do that. But we got a trainer here. You know, I think, given that this has been a very battle-heavy episode, so how much time I'll be able to cut out of it, I think I can probably get through the trial in this one episode. That would be a maze balls. Polywag. I love Poliwag, Poliworld, Polywrath, Evolutionary Chain. That one's great. Um, also, it's dumb of me to be uh, leading with a Water-type Pokemon right now. Uh, so let's see. Beep Beep makes the most sense. Even though Beep Beep's a little slow uh, and not super well leveled, this would be a good opportunity for, uh, for it. Let's do this. Let's restore its health. I got 23 potions. I'm not going to use them in battle. It gets that one up. And now let's give it a held item. 
What can I give it? Do you have anything? There you go. Magnet. Perfect. Uh, so let's do, I, I kind of need to, you know, I'm not really using my items enough that I need to organize them, so I won't, I shan't. You! A trial goer, are you? You must believe in your partners then. In that case, I'll be waiting. Yes, waiting for you to overcome your trial and waiting for the rain to fall once more. What does that mean? Why are you being so weird, dude in the corner? Is it a wishy-washy? Yay! Ugly mouth and everything. I love wishy-washy. Especially like super wishy-washy. Super. Wishy-washy. Uh -huh. I guess wishy-washy is French. Wishy-washy darted out, fleeing downstream. Well, this is a lovely surprise. You're quite the trainer, Geo. Please, carry on driving the wishy-washy downstream just like that. So does the second pool go away? Do I need the second pool? Do I not need the second pool? Do I do it anyway? Yeah! Dupiter! Dupiter! I don't think I can catch them here though, right? Oh man. So I just have to defeat it. But I, but I love you. I'm sorry, Dupiter. I'm so sorry. Did you just infest me? Hmm. Bug water is such great typing. Okay, so to answer my original question. No! Cram Pokemon in his back. To answer my original question, I only need to find the wishy-washy. I don't need to be... Messing around with all the other ones. Makiko. Ah, oh, Fletchling. So even if they're not water types, I'm still somehow definitely making the right decision by being, um, uh, using an electric type because that was a flying Pokemon. We got an X special attack item here. And we're going to hop on back into this watery prison here. Go a little... Can I, can I dismount here? No. Is there any reason to dismount anywhere around here? No. Are we spamming A? Yeah. Of course. It's me. Geo. You guys didn't know me? Got a revive. So how must have been by here already. Ah! Knew it. You can't pull one over. Is that a... Oh, hold on. Was that a Max Repel or a Max Revive? If that's a Max Repel, that's awesome. Hmm. Which one is the wishy-washy? Oh. Wishy? Washy? No! Dupiter, why? More like Thunder Shook. Because they're, they're dead now. Uh, looks like we're going to have to pop a few more potions to uh, heal up beep beep. Two is enough. Uh, also, because it's starting to bother me, I'm going to adjust the positions of this guy's attacks. Because beep beep, I always like... This is like a thing for me. I don't know why, but I just kind of like it this way. Um, I like my primary attack for my primary stab to be first. There we go. That's like the first move on my thing. Maybe it's because I just want to spam the A button. Or maybe it's because I'm weird, man. I don't know. I feel like most people do that, though. Most people... Don't you want... A question to you guys. Don't you normally just want your primary attack to be in slot one? Wishy-washy, downstream you go. Is there anything going on here? 
Is there a, a drop-off outlet over here? Looks like it. And a TM? Charge beam, not bad. Uh, that's gonna be way better for me than, um... Really? Pups can learn charge beam also. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, cause, what, this is, uh, 50 power. Ooh, only 90 accuracy, though. Uh, I still think it's better than charge. I really don't like playing with the accuracy. Man, I didn't know this was 90 accuracy. I seriously thought it was higher than that. Anything else going on here? Light screen. I mean, I guess it could be useful to teach Beep Beep a second attack, even though round's not exactly a great attack. Uh, probably better than Cotton Spore, since I can always um, T-Wave something. And just for now, just as coverage, um, in case I'm ever put in a, a situation, a situation that's not great for me. Echoed voice, obviously weaker than round. Confined is utter garbage. Eevee, in theory, could learn work up now, but doesn't really need to bother with it since um, I'm not going to fight with it until... It does my bidding and evolves into a Pokemon I love. This guy made a joke about being hooked. So I guess you think that uh, drug addiction is just a big joke, huh, Fisherman Carl? Uh, Beep Beep just tried to learn takedown. That's hilarious. You guys remember that? Uh, like, red and blue, when there were just so many moves that were just worse. Just, they just, it didn't make sense why, they just were, they were just awful, and that was just the way the game worked. There were just so many bad moves, like, slam. It was just, just, just worse. And, like, how tackle was just worse than pound. And, like, I get that they're starting moves, but, like, why would you ever do that? You know, now they, I think, I think scratch, pound, and tackle are all 40 power, but it didn't used to be that way. Tackle was weaker. Fun fact. Geo, look over there. Yes, just over there. Oh, I broke the monotone. It would seem we succeeded in drawing out the totem Pokemon. Strike against the totem with all your strength and seize victory. I hope you're ready. It's the totem Pokemon. That was a missed opportunity for Rotom to go, it's the totem Pokemon. So, um, this is exciting. We got rain, which means it's going to be uh, boosted water attacks. Um, I don't know that Flaffy can really handle a boosted water attack from a boosted wishy-washy, actually. Uh, who can pop off? Someone's got light screen, right? Did I lose my light screener? Beep Beep can pop off her own light screen. That's excellent. Uh, and that's actually probably better for me than round. So what I might want to do is T-Wave... T-Wave the wishy-washy turn one. Just pray it doesn't miss. I could put me in a bad situation. Then pop off a light screen to give myself a little more coverage. I want... This is Beep Beep's time, guys. I have every faith that Beep Beep can do this. Is there anything going on here? It's a big, big area. Alright, Mega Wishy Washy. Totem Washy. Oh my god, they changed it! It's not mega wishy-washy anymore! Ah, no! <laughs> it's Araquanid. Aquanid. Araquanid. They changed it. Good for them. Alright, what's the boost? Speed, that's it. I'm about to ruin your speed in ways you didn't think were possible. 
bubble. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Definitely need to pop off a light screen here. Um, honestly, I don't think... This is a weird thing to say, but it probably would have been in my better interest to... Um, to have confide on something around here. But let's get a light screen off because it's gonna... It's gonna benefit whoever comes in, whether it's beep beep, beep beep mate, might not take uh, might not take us the whole way here. But I do get a very fortunate full para sticky web, which will uh, mess up my switch in. That's a great. That's got to be new on Jupiter and Araquanid. They were not originally sticky web users. That makes them significantly better in the draft format. Oh my god, actually. Oh my god, Araquanid. Just stepping up the game right now. Okay, uh, I'd like to... I'd like to get a couple of boosts with Charge Beam, actually. I think I need it. Uh, I do get the one-hit takedown on Jupiter. It looks like it did not get the attack boost here. Leech Life this is gonna hurt. Oof. Painful. Uh, I'm gonna pop an item here. It's not going to be Roto Boost. Um, it's going to be a Super Potion. 60 HP. Super Potions used to only be 50. I have so much remnant knowledge from what the games used to be, and this is such a useless... is so useless knowledge. Oh, God. Uh, so, let's... Let's Charge Beam again. It's a risky venture because I could miss. But I'd really like the attack boost. Uh, he's got... Uh, a Wook... Is it Wakan Berry? Yeah. And I didn't get the boost again. And he's going to heal all of that back. Forcing me into a... Uh... You know, I... I almost want the light screen to wear off here. Because... When it does, he'll be encouraged to use Bubble instead. That was a very fortunate para. Light Screen wore off, which means he's now probably going to use Bubble in lieu of Leech Life, which actually benefits me. Because it means I can start ch actually chipping away at him. No Wakan Berry this time. I, again, don't get the, uh, the boost. It's a 50-50 chance. I, I feel like I'm I'm getting really unlucky here. But if I had gotten the boo... Masquerade. Shoot. I think Beep Beep goes down here. Masquerade will outspeed me. Yeah, I, uh, I have not gotten a single in any of my uses of this move. I haven't gotten a boost yet on any of them. I don't think I can take out Masquerade here in one hit. It's an evolved Pokemon. And if it does any amount of damage, it puts me in two hit KO range of a Rockwinded, unless a Rockwinded uh, full para is here. So I either need to outspeed Masquerade and take it out in one hit, which I failed to do. Uh, so I gotta hope for a full para here from a Rockwinded. Masquerade didn't even go down, and it's even worse. Now I get my special attack raise, just in time to go down to the bubble. That's... That's really unfortunate. Well, Beep Beep did his best. So what are we looking at here? Uh, bug, water, amazing typing. But I'm not really sure. Pup says, uh, decent. Yeah, I think, I think I can probably boost to win with Pups here. I am slower. That's true. No point in baby doll izing. Um... 
I don't actually know how much headbutt will do to the Araquanid. It might just be in my better... No, it's in my better interest to continue that continuously headbutt and put him in the para flinch realm. Especially since he's just going to pop bubbles all day. Ooh, Pups takes that. Yeah, let's para, para flinch this man. Failure. Where's the luck? Show it to me, Pups. Beautiful. I really wanted Flaffy to do it there, but unfortunately his defenses just weren't there and his speed wasn't enough to outspeed the mask rain. His attack wasn't there. He's just a little too weak to be able to handle the 2v1s. And he put himself, like having to first turn um, go for the T-wave before it was a 2v1 when I could have been charge beaming at the gate. Uh, it was unfortunate, you know, but... I really wanted Beep Beep to do it, but it just, you know, didn't, couldn't quite do it. Very well done, Geo. Please come back this way. What a... What a very surprising surprise. Who would have thought it? That all those wishy-washy gathering would have summoned an Araquanid, that is. He he. Even I was caught. Hook, line, and sinker. You were amazing, Geo. Truly impressive. Please take this. Yay! Water EMZ! Thank you for letting me borrow some eggs. Eggs are lent. Excellent. Watch, this is how you use water EMZ. Is it gonna be like fluid water? Yeah, cool. And I have more than just that to offer you. Another token for clearing my trial. Here, this is Lana Original, one of my handmade fishing rods. Thank you, Lana! Lana! This is how you use my fishing rod. When you want to fish for Pokemon, look for piles of rocks in the water. Fish like to hide in the shallows there. When you see your bob dip under the water, you have a bite. But you won't for long. We all know this. Thank you for the dive balls also. I don't need any water type Pokemon. Did I know I once reeled in a red Gyarados? You did? Well, what do you think? You did a fine job today. Shall I see you back at the Pokemon Center on Route 5? Yes. Good. Let's be going then. And you always do spot of, you can always do a spot of fishing later. Yes, I shall do a spot of fishing later. Oh no! Next is Kiawe's trial. It will take place at Wayla Volcano Park. Oh, and that reminds me. Did you see Pseudo Wudo by Paniola Ranch? They were causing some trouble for people, so I gave them a little dose of Z-Power using my Water EMZ. Just a little lesson for them. I wonder how they will react now that they see you have Water EMZ too. Heh. 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 Congrats on finishing the water trial. Don't tell me what to graduate. Uh, we're going back to find that elderly gentleman and have him give us a, a dose of... There we go. I was waiting in the rain. The rain to wash anything away. What? I am waiting for the rain. The rain that will wash everything away. What? I, I don't get it. So, do I need to come back here when it's raining? But how am I supposed to know when it's raining here? I'm not going to be in the zone. Or is this saying, like, you have to get Kyogre and come back here? I don't know. Psyduck. Well, we had a good run. Uh, and that's fine. So, let's uh, let's heal up the Pokemon and call it an episode. This is a, this is a fun one. I liked this one. I had a, I had a good time here. Uh, we'll see if I have enough time to get another one in. I'll try and record it. I might be able to edit it, but I doubt I'll be able to edit and upload, or edit, render, and upload all today. Um, just because I have a soccer game later. That's why I'm wearing my Twin Creeks soccer team shirt. So, 
let me uh, let me save up the game here just to make sure I don't lose my hard-earned progress. Uh, and that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.